Hey guys, my name is Ryan with BlindRivetSupply.com. Uh, today we're gonna to be talking about rivet nuts. This video is really for the at-home hobbyist that only has a few rivet nuts to install, maybe one project to do, and you don't really wanna spend the money on a dedicated tool. Uh, they can get quite pricey, especially the pneumatic ones. I know there's a few of these videos floating around on YouTube of people uh, installing rivet nuts uh, without a dedicated tool, so I thought it'd be a good idea since we sell a lot of these tools and the rivet nuts themselves to give it a go ourselves and really test out uh, everything that people are doing at home. So uh, watch and enjoy. We'll be covering ways to install them uh, that cost really less than $10. Uh, you just need to head down to your local big box store like uh, Home Depot and you can pick up everything you need right there. Uh, I'll be showing you uh, the materials I'm using, the rivet nuts I'm using, uh, the hardware I'm using, and how that's all put together so that you can set a rivet nut uh, into your parent material um, and know that it's going to work. Uh, some of these might be easier than others, some of them might be a little difficult, uh, especially on the hands, but uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, so in this demonstration, we're gonna be using a quarter 20 uh, hex bolt, uh, some stainless steel washers, quarters, a uh, 3 8 uh, coupling nut, and a quarter 20 rivet nut. We'll assemble the tool like this. So we'll start with the bolt, put a couple of those stainless steel washers on the front end of the bolt, put the coupling nut on. You want it to just slide on the bolt. A couple more washers. And lastly, we want to put the rivet nut on there. Now, this is a super long hex bolt. It doesn't need to be this long. All you really need is about one thread past the end of the rivet nut that you're installing. For the tools, I'll be using a 716 wrench and a half inch wrench. One of these will be going on the end of the hex and the other will be going on the coupling nut here to hold it tight. For our parent material, we'll be using two plates of 26 gauge steel and we'll just clamp it together in a vise. And now I'm going to take my half inch wrench, put it on the coupling nut, and I'm gonna be taking my 7 16 wrench, put it on the hex there, and we start tightening down. And you'll feel it clench up and just keep going. All right guys, for our next demonstration, we're actually gonna be using a similar setup, um, but this time we're gonna be using a socket head cap screw that you can actually use with an Allen key. Uh, same stainless steel washers, same coupling nuts. I'm actually gonna use two this time because I'm gonna try and take away some of the, uh, the, the length of this cop, socket head cap screw. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. And then again, a quarter 20 uh, rivet nut. So the way we're gonna set this one up is like so. We'll take the socket head cap screw. I'm just gonna put one washer on the top end. A couple of these uh, coupling nuts here and another stainless steel washer and then the rivet nut. Make it nice and tight. As you can see, a lot less thread this time uh, sticking out of the end. Again, all you need is really just one thread length past the end of the rivet nut to, to set these. So uh, I bought too long of these bolts, but 
that's all right. No harm, no foul. It just means less uh, space you have on your blind side if you are uh, going into maybe a truck body or uh, Jeep body or uh, whatever your application might be. All right guys, so it was way too difficult to use the two coupling nuts. So I'm gonna try a whole bunch of washers and uh, go at it with just one coupling nut. Uh, they kept moving on me, so just one should be easier. Also, I'm wearing gloves now. Uh, using just this little Allen key is quite the task. So uh, let's give it another go. You know what guys, that kicked my ass. I, uh, I tried real hard and I could not uh, get this anywhere near to the level of the other one. Uh, if you look at that, I don't know if the camera's gonna zoom, but it's spinning. I couldn't get a good grip on it. I, I mean, taking out the other uh, coupler not helped, but uh, using a little Allen wrench isn't gonna cut it. Um, so maybe when we try the power tools, this might be a little better, but using this on a steel rivet nut, uh, that's, a, I mean, I've seen people use this same setup on rivet nuts before, but they must be aluminum because I just, with all my might, couldn't get with steel. I mean, maybe a very strong person could have done this, but uh, my hand is killing me. All right, guys, so this one should be interesting. We're gonna use power tools now, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I know it took forever using uh, just our hands. So this time we're gonna be using an impact driver uh, with a 716 um, socket head cap, or socket head uh, on here. Uh, also with uh, our uh, half inch wrench to hold our uh, first setup there of uh, the uh, hex uh, bolt with the coupler nut, uh, the washers, and the quarter 20 uh, steel rivet nut. So let's give it a go, <laughs> let's see how it does. I gotta say guys, that was awesome. This driver uh, mixed with this half inch wrench, it just made super, super short work of this ribbon. I would say it works just as well as uh, any cheap tool you could find. Uh, obviously it's not gonna be perfect. It's a little off center where maybe a ribbon nut tool would actually uh, <laughs> make it more centered, but it gets the job done. If you don't care about perfection, then this might be your way to go. It's uh, way quicker than using your hands. I didn't get tired out at all. Uh, I mean, super quick and easy. Um, so there you have it. Um, I'm gonna try a different uh, hex head method now, since I tried using uh, our hand there with a wrench um, and the, uh, the impact driver. I'm not gonna try just a regular uh, socket wrench here and uh, we'll see how that goes.
All right guys, so with the soccer wrench here, it went just about as well as using uh, this wrench here, which is also ratcheting. So um, just about the same. So guys, we installed a lot of uh, rivet nuts today. Um, I gotta say that my favorite is using the hex bolt with the uh, impact driver. Uh, that has to be the quickest and easiest way to get one of these in there and probably the cheapest method. Obviously, if you don't have an impact driver, uh, you'll be using your hands, but also we saw with a couple wrenches that does work. Uh, it takes a little longer and is a little more painful. <laughs> My hands are sore now, but um, that is really it. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down at the bottom. And as always, for any of your rivet nut needs, please stop by blindrivetsupply.com where we have a wide selection for you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to call in at 888-472-1081 and have a great day.